guys, it's Laura. Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with the Promise bathroom tour. So we are finally done. For those of you who are new on my channel, we renovated our bathroom in the past two weeks. It was originally planned only for one week, but there were a few things that needed to be fixed. So it took a bit longer, but now it's finally done. And if you want to know how our new bathroom looks, then please keep watching. All right, let's start with the floor. So for the floor, we picked non-slippery matte tiles that look like wood. And I wanted to have a warm shade of brown. So I picked this pale beige that is a little bit reddish, but unfortunately you can't really see it on the camera. Maybe when I compare it with the hardwood floors that we have in the rest of the house, it will show a little bit. Then this gray towel um, next to our bathtub is from Ikea. So is this bamboo plant. And I put on the top of the bamboo plant these little stones so that the plastic part doesn't show because we have no windows in our bathroom so we can have only artificial colors. Uh, not artificial colors, artificial flowers. And there's the puppy. Hi, Hercules. Are you coming to say hi? Hi, Hercules. Now the bathtub. So we picked a new bathtub which is longer and wider than the standard bathtubs because Jack and I are both very tall and it's just nice to have more space when you take a bath. Here we have our two soap dishes, which I have bought at Ikea. The nice thing about these is that they have no bottom, so the water, water can run through and our soaps wouldn't stay wet. This soap is called Sea Vegetable. They are, by the way, all from Lush. This is one of my favorite body soaps. It smells wonderful, citrusy and very fresh. This is Cold Face. This is my facial soap and the blue um, round bar is a shampoo bar called Scenic. It's a wonderful shampoo bar with a bit of sea salt in it. And again, it smells so fresh and wonderful. I think this is Algae in it. Great for hair. It makes them really squeaky clean. So if you're using a lot of hair products, definitely give this one a try. Then we have Room Perfume here. It's by the European brand Frosh, which is cruelty free. And this one is also vegan. Then we have here this scrubby sponge, but we plan on replacing it with a sponge made of natural materials, but of course vegan. And here is the rest of the product that we are using on a regular basis. So let me pull the curtain a little bit away so that you can see it better. So I have here this plastic exfoliating sponge I bought at the drugstore. It's very practical. I'm using it in order to exfoliate my face without any products and also as a brush cleaner. And then I have here my shampoos. So this is my favorite shampoo from Lee Stafford. It's a silver shampoo with the conditioner that goes with it. I have here also um, the shampoo uh, from Touch of Silver, the a brightening shampoo and then the shampoo that you would use on a little bit more of a regular basis. It's almost empty but I will not repurchase these because they just don't do much to my hair and my hair feels a bit dry. So I will stick to my Lee Stafford shampoos especially because I like the shade that it creates on my hair better but that's of course something that's very individual. Then we have here a lotion that is for my private parts and I also clean my yoni egg with it. And then there is a facial gel that Jack has been using for a while but he's using this up and he's gonna switch also to the black soap that you have seen previously. This shower gel is as far as I know not really cruelty free we are just using this one up the Tetasep and then we have two of course vegan products because any other of these products are vegan. So we have here from Trickle Moon those lemonade days. This is my favorite shower gel uh, for the summer. And next to it is the body peeling. Once this will be empty, I will replace it with something that goes a little bit more with the winter season. So if they're gonna have the vanilla scented one, that's definitely gonna come or maybe the coconut. Now let's have a look at this area. So the dresser is from Ikea. I think it's called God Morgan. And we bought also the legs that go with it because it's always nice to have it a bit higher so that you have some space underneath the dresser. 
and as you can see we put our scale there so the legs are adjustable we put them a bit higher but not completely high otherwise there would be no space for the sink tabs underneath uh, the cabinet the wooden plate that is on the top of the dresser is nothing special that's a simple wooden plate we picked at a hardware store we had it cut smaller and when they polished the edges it showed that it has been already polished with something because the edges were a bit lighter but we actually liked it because that way it looks like it's antique so we kept it that way and we only had them polish it with a transparent polish so that's the wooden plate you can clearly see the sinks we wanted these bowls because they look so beautiful and then you have a lot of space around them and then we picked those simple sink tabs that go also with this kind of i think i mean it looks differently but we thought that's a look that kind of complements the rest of the bathroom stuff and here is my orchid I had to cut the orchid on the bottom so that it's not as high because it went up till here and I wasn't able to open the cabinet so I kind of massacred it but it worked and again I put those little stones on the top so that you can see that it's plastic and I think it looks good so then I picked these things you have seen them in one of my recent vlogs so the soap dish and the liquid soap dispenser that look like stone i thought it's gonna go very well with the entire theme in the bathroom so here i have my hairdryer holder and i have here an electrical socket with the flap so that i can close it since it's so close to the bathtub this thing has been here already there was a little bit more space between the bathtub and the previous sink because the bathtub was a bit more narrow but it's okay so we have here always two towels too much information i like washing my butt after i went number two so we always have one towel closer to the bathtub for our butts <laughs> and this is for our hands and this is just in case we need to i don't know wash something whatever and i also hang here <clears throat> my towel that i use for removing my makeup which i will show you in a few minutes on the other side of our dresser we keep this little trash can that i also bought at ikea it has this little pedal so that you can easily open it and it closes by itself then there is the potty and the toilet brush with the toilet brush holder that also looks like stone i bought it together with the soap dish and the liquid soap dispenser and here is our toilet paper a very important important thing and beneath it it's Hercules's pillow because whenever I go to the bathroom he likes to be here together with me and he likes having his own spot vis-a-vis -vis from the toilet there is the heating so you can in winter when it's in use you can hang your towels on it and they will be dry a bit faster but for the rest of the time we have this thing here where we can hang up till one two three four five six seven things seven items so we mostly hang here only our bath towels and sometimes when we have really sweaty gym clothes then we hang them there before we throw them in the wash so that the stuff doesn't mold and on the back of our door we have these hangers where we hang our bathrobes and now you can see what a beautiful shade of green my old bathrobe turned after I dyed it so it goes really well with the rest of the bathroom now too because we have green and gray towels now the cabinets so these are the cabinets that we already had in our bathroom Jack picked them a few years ago once we started thinking about renovating the bathroom and there's a lot of storage in them I put uh, two of the creeper plants on the top because I thought it would look lovely and now I will show you what's inside So this is my side. There is a lot of stuff as you can see obviously So on the top I keep my hair stuff. So there's my hairspray 
some leave-in conditioners, uh, spare shampoos, I have there also my Olaplex and some of the stuff is not cruelty free that is in the back. This is leftovers from the time before I went vegan but it's still not used up and I just don't want to throw stuff away so I'm just using it up but of course anytime something gets empty it is always replaced only with vegan and cruelty free cosmetics. Then I have here body sprays and some cosmetics for my feet because my feet tend to get a bit swollen in the summer. So I always put some cooling lotion on them and then there is my deodorant. This section here I keep my mascaras, my brushes, there is eyeshadow primer, my eye lotion, um, pimple gel, my lash serum, there are my foundations and my setting spray. This is maybe interesting for you, so I have here uh, my facial care, so I have here my tonic, my hyaluron acid serum, my facial oil for the days when my skin feels dry, then I have here my moisturizer and this is the thing, I can't think of the word right now, the case for my uh, contacts. I picked accidentally a lotion for removing my makeup, but I really don't like it and in this bottle there is micellar water from the brand Balea which is of course vegan and cruelty free but I filled it into the smaller one because I went somewhere on a trip and I wanted to take something smaller with, with me so I keep it like this. Here in the middle are some of my lip products. It's mostly lip glosses, some lip liners and there is just one lipstick so it's kind of obvious which of the two I prefer more. <laughs> Uh, then I have here my perfumes, my nail polish removers and some sun cosmetics. Again, there are a few items in the back that are not cruelty free from before I went vegan, which I'm just using up. And on the bottom uh, I keep here my makeup sponges, there are some blushes, powders, highlighters and the rest is pretty much a mix of many items. There are some eyeshadows, product samples. Uh, some stuff for my eyes, lip balms and uh, bobby pins. I also keep here uh, my lip liner and um, eyeliner sharpener and uh, this little fella which is my steel razor. So my steel razor is one of my favorite items to which I switched since I started reading a little bit about the problem of waste on our planet. So you have to replace every now and then the blade but that's pretty much it, so no plastic trash. You buy this one once and the blades are really inexpensive, so it's even better for your pocket and I really like using this one. The other side of the cabinet is also a mix of everything, so there's mostly Jack stuff, but also some things that we both use. For example, our body lotions, then we keep here our toothbrushes, toothpaste, tongue scraper. There are some ointments, medicaments, um, we have here our floss, mouthwash, thermometer, cotton swabs and also the stuff for contacts. Again, there are several products that are not cruelty free because we're just using them up and we are slowly replacing everything with cruelty free and vegan products. Let's have a look also inside of the drawers. So this is my top drawer. This is mostly hair stuff because I used to have long hair and I'm growing my hair out again. So as you can see, I have many brushes, headbands, and most of these boxes contain hair elastics and some clips and stuff like that. I have here also rest of the micellar water that is uh, inside of the cabinet, some wipes some product samples, so these are by the brand Little Rabbit, which is an Austrian brand, 100% vegan. I have also some of my eyeshadow palettes and my blush palette. And this little fella is a lip glaze by the brand Little Rabbit, which I tried recently. A really lovely, I would say like reddish brown shade. This is something between lip gloss and a lipstick. I really like this product, so I'm definitely gonna buy more of these. This is my bottom drawer, so in the right compartment I keep my hairdryer, spare contacts, my headache pills, I don't know what's in the other box, I think it's more hair clips and some random stuff. And I have here also my nightlight, which I would plug in in the bathroom if I would need to get something of the cabinets at night so that I don't have to turn on the full light, because then I would wake up too much. The left compartment contains 
cotton swabs, cotton pads, um, sanitary pads. I have here also my tampons and my menstruation cup. So I use the Mi Luna cup. And also I have here the box of my Yoni egg. So if you don't know about Yoni eggs, I will link uh, the web page down below where I ordered mine. And I'm planning on filming a video about this anyway. And this is the towel that I'm using for removing my makeup without any products. So it's just a simple towel that I soak in warm water. I wash my face with it. I remove all of the makeup, even mascara easily. And then I just rinse it out properly, wash it a little bit with soap and let it dry. And then it stays that white. It needs to be washed on a regular basis though. And it needs to be washed without fabric softener. This is the bottom right drawer. So here I have some stuff for our bath, like the scrubby things, then some bath foam. This is everything for our contacts. Uh, we always buy more of the stuff in a bundle and then we keep it here. Um, then we have here toilet spray, again, more of the scrubby stuff. I have here a towel that I use in order to clean silver jewelry. There is some pair soap for the liquid soap dispenser and we keep always extra toilet paper here and this is the top right drawer so i have here some bath salt this is the plug for our bathtub because we keep a little net instead of this when we only shower so that the hair will not get into the drain there's some more cotton swabs. Um, these things are for the room perfume that's on the bathtub. So if you put more in, then the scent is gonna be more intense. I have here spare toothpaste and these are our spare toothbrushes. They are made of bamboo and also the brittles are made of bamboo. So they are 100% compostable, also a great thing. So we switched to these. And this is where Jack keeps his spare contacts and his brushes. So those two brushes are obviously not cruelty free, but he had them for years now. He's going to replace them later with bamboo once they start looking ragged, but so far they are fine. So he's not going to throw them away. And here we have Hercules. This is what he does when I go into the bathroom. So whatever I'm doing, if I'm on the toilet or if I'm brushing my teeth or if I'm taking a bath, he always keeps me company. And that's why he has to have his pillow here so that it's comfortable for him. And last but not least, a few clips of how our bathroom used to look before. We are absolutely happy with the result. We love our new bathroom, especially the color combination because the warm wood on the ground and the gray these are not the typical bathroom colors that you would find in many bathrooms because mostly you will find like black and white or green and gold or white and blue and we just wanted to have something different something we never had and anytime i go into our bathroom when i brush my teeth or when i take a shower or put on my makeup I always take some extra time just to look around because i feel so great in it it feels so good especially knowing that we put all the pieces together with jack we took our time to pick tiles and the bathtub and everything else we always uh, looked at stuff and kind of slept over it so that we were sure what we wanted and yeah it feels really great and for me it was also a new experience to be able to put the entire bathroom together because i've never done something like that before with the bathroom i mean i've done it here with this room but never with the bathroom yeah and it just felt great being able to do that that's pretty much it for today's video i hope that i will have a little bit more time in the next few weeks for filming because right now it's kind of crazy i'm super busy at the office there's still some stuff i need to do for the university and with all the construction work plus i'm going to repaint the walls in the second room there's just so much to do but i will do my best to film at least once a week and once everything calms down there's gonna be again two videos a week so thank you so much for watching you can let me know what would be your favorite colors for your bathroom if you had the chance to design it yourself 
and uh, we're gonna see each other with the next video so i love you guys if you like today's video don't forget to give it a thumb up you can also share it don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet i link down below all of my social networks i'm very active on instagram and i link down below also my diy channel and thank you so much for watching love you guys so much and see you with my next video bye <music>